there's another video I wanted to watch before I start playing games. And I, you guys, it probably doesn't speak to the same audience. But the new Call of Duty Zombies trailer dropped yesterday, and I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, new COD Zombies trailer dropped, and I'm a big fan of Call of Duty Zombies, man. That Ray Gun and pack a punch and Juggernog, a big fan of it. And they showed a new trailer yesterday, so I wanted to check it out. And we're gonna try it out though. Let's let's see what's going on here. Okay, okay. Well, well hold on, what on? You know how zombies is, man. It's so cryptic. Every frame matters when they show gameplay. Every frame. This is already looking like Ascension. This is already looking like Ascension from Black Ops 1, where it was black and white in the, in the beginning. But I don't know why they would do Ascension again, so it's probably not. It's probably not. Terry's is Black Ops 2. I love Black Ops 2. It's a great game. Who could have guessed that when the undead first appeared in Call of Duty World at War, that it would lead us here to today? I could have guessed moment, that, yeah. Zombie sparked the love for fighting the undead, bringing its unique DNA to the Call of Duty experience. Whether you're playing solo or co-op, working to solve puzzles or unlock easter eggs, facing wave after wave of the undead delivers fast, fun action with just one objective. Survive. Black Ops Cold War. It does look like classic. Hey, it does look like classic zombies. It is Cold War, so it's got to be, you know. Sets the stage for a new zombies experience that not only celebrates our entire zombies heritage, but uses it as an inspiration to build a completely new chapter in our universe. Today, we we'll cover the characters, the backstory, and weapons with members of the development team. Easy cheese. Some of whom have quite literally helped to build it one zombie at a time. But first, let's check out the worldwide premiere of our new zombies gameplay trailer. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's check it out, man. Enough of the bald man talking. Ooh, damn! This looks like some good graphics. Look at the shot. This looks like this. This first frame right here looks just like a. Uh, like what's a cyberpunk man let's see it let's check it out Ooh, this looks crisp fam what have you done did you get the package watch it watch the tape what the hell is that the machine what the hell My boys. It's happening again. Requiem, actual it's happening again. Wait, 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 what? It's happening again? He... Huh? What what does that mean? This reminds me of PT. Investigate the site. Contain the threat. Wait, hold on, hold on. Requiem, actual strike so they're out on like the forest area. I don't know any of these characters. So all new characters. Friend. That's Derizon. That's uh, what is this? This is the very first zombies map ever made. Knocked her on Toten, man. This is the little bunker. This is a little bunker, man. Roger. Moving. That's what that was right there. Let's get the power on. Damn, that looks just like Ascension. This area looks just like Ascension. They're not doing Ascension again, though. There's no way. Yeah, that early part is knocked. Yeah, it has to. That early part is knocked. Wait, what? Let me see this again. Black hole. Man, this does look like. This looks a lot like cla like the the how the zombies look. That looks like classic Treyarch zombies, man. That looks good. Whoa, she just. Put a little trap down and blew him up. He's got an RPG? Those things are terrible in zombies. They'll blow yourself up unless there's BHV flopper. Turrets? What? Turrets? Wait, hold on. I saw something happen right there. Did you guys see it? There was a little frame. It confirmed something. There's a little frame that confirmed something right there. To be honest, RPGs aren't that bad. I'd never like them in zombies. Right here. Watch this. After they mow him down right here, with the turret. Look at that, see that green right there? You see that green right there? 
That's that's either like a nuke or like a double points or something like that. That, that green back there that's behind that zombie. So those are confirmed to come back. Those little power ups that drop. Oh, maybe you can you, maybe you can tell what it is. No, you cannot tell what it is. It looked like kind of a nuke. Uh oh, they split. Whoa, what is this little guitar? That's a new perk. That's a new perk. That's a perk machine, man. It looks like a... Dude, that's Nocturne... They're at Nocturne Toten. They're literally at Nocturne Toten. What is this? Oh, mystery box. Let's go. Oh, look at that, man. That's a little spirit bomb. Spirit bomb, man. With the skulls, that might be some kind of headshot perk. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. But it had guitars on it, so what does that mean? Like, rocking, rocking, I don't know, man. I had guitars on it. Oh, I'm not into the alien dogs. Get that out. Maybe a revamped Deadshot Daiquiri? Could be, could be. What? What is this? This ain't. This, hey, that's not zombies. Kill streaks ain't zombies, man. Looking. Brrr, AC130 coming in. What the hell is that? That's not zombies. Was that? That's not. That's got to be pack a punch, right? Oh, another new perk. Hold up. That's got to be Pack-A-Punch right there, that machine. Yeah, it has the sign of it, but it's all torn up. What does that mean that they have the same pack They They have similar Pack-A-Punch machine with the same sign. That has to mean like it's in the same universe as the old zombies, man. It has to mean that. Because they make it look different if it's in a different universe. They've done it before. And this guy's going invisible. What kind of gun does this guy have, man? It looks like some kind of grenade launcher, but it's shooting like purple. No, it's a that's straight up. Whoa. Okay, we have the elemental pop. Elemental pop, a new perk confirmed, man. And it looks like it's a it's a soda machine that has a, it's like an arcade at the same time. What did what could elemental pop be, man? Ray gun confirmed. Ray gun. You don't know what the song is? It's Tainted Love. I can't remember who sings it. That's an old song. Oh, what's that frame? You gotta check that frame, man. Ah, oh, okay. No, the, oh yeah, the song for the purse. Juggernaug confirmed! They're bringing it back because Juggernaug was not in Black Ops 4 and it was booty ass. Game because of it, man. After so many journeys, so many chapters, with Black Ops Cold War, we're starting fresh. That was Woods. Many Woods is in Zom. What? How? How are they gonna explain that? I've never played the campaign. That was Woods from the campaign. After so many journeys, so many chapters, with Black Ops Cold War, we're starting fresh, embarking. On a completely different story within our universe. We've got a new story. He said completely new story within within our universe. So it is in the same universe as the uh, the old campaign, the old zombies story. Okay. Led by different characters. We've got new ways to play, anchored by new ways of progressing. We've got a different time period. Cold War Zombies wasn't just our opportunity to open up a different chapter. It was our opportunity to elevate the entire zombies experience. Elevate. It's a chapter we call the machine. As we set out to build something completely new, we were inspired to pay homage. Quick revive. To zombies' undead roots to celebrate. There's that elemental pop perk. Our origin with one of our most familiar and signature locations 
Nocturne and Totem. They're just straight up. They're straight up making that a map, man. With one of our most familiar and signature locations. Nocturne and Totem. We finished a story, but we're still in that same universe, and this is the next chapter. The, the very end of Black Ops 4, our characters sacrifice themselves to collapse the multiverse and try and create a singular world where zombies didn't exist. And they were half right. Collapse them. Okay, so it's a direct sequel to Black Ops 4. They just confirmed it. Try and create a singular world where zombies didn't exist. So no more. So they confirmed. They confirmed that right here that there's no more multiverse. There's no more different versions of characters or different dimensions. That's out of here. But it also confirms that they failed at what their objective was in the last zombies map, which was the end of zombies. Bullshit. And they were half right. Yeah, they're all dead. The main characters are dead, right? This is a Cold War story, and it will be driven by a diverse group of organizations and characters. That guy didn't want to come. Hey, this guy didn't want to come to the studio, man. This guy said, I'm staying at home because of Rona. He's staying at home. It will be driven by a diverse group of organizations and characters. Players are part of Requiem, a CIA ah! international. <laughs> Everyone else came to the studio but him. Russian American who will be familiar to Black Ops fans. By the time you arrive on the hunt for answers, D Machina will have been ravaged by time. On the surface, you'll see a boarded up bunker. But below the surface lies a nefarious set of decades old secrets primed to upset the global order. The global the order. Find themselves at odds with a team of Soviet led rivals known as Omega Group. Who are just Omega as interested Group. in studying and harnessing the power of the unexplained anomalies manifesting around the globe. Beyond these two warring groups, they'll encounter characters with unknown agendas. No more group 935. No more group 935. Who operate in the field, delivering insights and intel on this new world's fiction. The intel you receive and recover is a huge component of our storytelling in Cold War. And for the first time, an innovative new intel system will make content accessible on demand anytime. Do you think the hazmat guy is part of the group? No. I've never seen before. I don't know what's up with the the characters you're playing as because it looks like some of the characters are are from the campaign. I don't understand that. How's that going to make any sense if they say it's all in one universe? But uh, what about the campaign universe, man? How's that work? Let's get into the gameplay. That starts with delivering all your. Damn, they're just going all in with this trailer. They're going all in. The pack a punch machine. Power up drops, the mystery box, along with the return of some of our speed cola looks cool. I like that look for speed cola. I like that. Classic perks. We've also taken a fresh eye to the core gameplay loop to let you drop in and have fun faster than ever. The gameplay is classic, but it's going to be tonally quite fresh. You'll find our updates this year have focused. On one thing above all, embracing what makes zombies so much fun. Ooh, I like that. I like that. We they've been they've focused on one thing. What makes zombies fun instead of Black Ops Four, where they're like Black Ops Four, where they were focusing on one thing, new Wonder Weapon. Yeah, they showed it a, a little earlier. It looks sick. It looks like a uh, you're just shooting Kamehameha waves. That starts with progression. This year, we yeah, Terry, Pep uh, Terry, I know what you're talking about. The CDC versus the CIA. Hell yeah. For unified progression and loadouts across all of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That means wherever you play across multiplayer zombies, your global rank and weapons level stays. Who are these lame ass characters you're playing as? They're not even showing them at all. Connected. You will be unlocking. Kind of looks like the Thunder Gun. Yeah, it does. Score streaks that will be usable across the entirety of the game. Score? What is that? Score streak? I don't know about that, guys. What do you guys feel about using kill streaks in zombies? Calling in your AC-130 or putting a turret down or putting UAV online? What do you guys think about that, man? I don't know about that. If you need it, gaming gone dad. What's up, cutie? What's up, cutie? How's your morning going? If you need it, you can use it, and the key is to go frame my frame. Yeah, I know. I know. It's going, he says. Okay, I think I paused too no many times. almost pistol. broke the video. Bring in your AR, your SMG, whatever you're feeling. 
And with all weapons boasting rarity, with I'd rather have just have a gun. Yeah, me too, buddy. To increase your gun's damage potential, however you choose, every gun has a path to become an uber weapon. An uber weapon. You have a lethal, tactical, and support slot. Not only can you craft, pick up, or find equipment and support in zombies, but you can now use them in combination, which delivers some insanely fun moments. Yeah, insanely fun moments of using an AC-130. Traditionally in zombies, the only way out was death. A new x system solves this. If things get tense and the squad is in trouble, you have the option to x to a chopper and earn some rewards. But only if you can survive a few more rounds of zombies. What do you guys think about that? They're announcing a new system right here. They're announcing a no, they're not saying you can win. They're announcing a new system. They say you get bonus rewards if you call in a helicopter and leave instead of die. It's like a risk reward system. You can end your run there because you think you're gonna get fucked up. You can end your run and you'll get a little bonus reward because you actually didn't die. But you're not saying you won the map, you didn't do the Easter egg. But you can just say I'm out, you know, because I don't think we can survive another round, man. That's interesting. Okay. The only way you used to be able to survive is completing the Easter egg. Yeah, now there's a new route of saying, I think we're going to die next round. We better get out of here right now. This is shaping up and we might get a little bonus XP or something. Experience ever. For the first time, Monkey Bomb confirmed. Is gonna be free. As new maps come out, everyone's going to be able to come along for the journey as we take them through this storyline. Lastly, canon is canon. And we've put a story to rest. But as you comb through this new universe, don't be surprised if some things don't want to stay dead. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean, dude? Does that mean Rick Toffin's... No, there's no way. Rick Toffin? He's teasing Rick Toffin, I think. No, I think he's teasing straight up Rick Toffin. Rick Toffin has carried the story for so long. And he just said some things just don't want to stay dead, man. This is the most connected and robust zombies experience in history. It also delivers a first for zombies, a fully cross-play experience with progression systems that tie zombies to the battle pass. We're dropping free po cross play zombies. Play with your friends on any system. Let's go. Post launch zombies content to the community for the first time as well. We're honored to have you with us on this journey. We're glad that you could join us for today's first look. Not too bad. Not too bad. It definitely could have looked way worse. Not too bad at all. Oh, they just showed it. Dude, Terry, they just showed it. Your CDC boy. And the hazmat suit. He's not, he's not, he's not alive anymore, man. He's not a playable character. He's fucked up. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that didn't look too bad at all, honestly. I think uh, I think it could have looked a lot worse. The the only thing I was a little skeptical about that was like, oh, I'm not really feeling this is the score streak system. Other than that, everything was pretty cool. Yeah, I I agree, Mr. Papa. I agree. That's the only thing that was like, ooh, I don't know about that. But the rest of it looked cool.